Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. I'm here on 10 Mile Creek taking apart a rock dam that somebody built. And while these can be pretty amazing feats of engineering, they can be pretty harmful for wildlife. But don't just take my word for it. Let's talk to a fisheries biologist. So Adam, how do rock dams like this affect fish populations? Well, thanks, Corey. Rock dams impede fish migration upstream and downstream and actually trap fish during low water periods, both above and below a structure. Are there any particular species that are more so affected by these rock dams? Yeah, like right now, it's in the fall, which is a peak spawning time frame for brown trout. Um, so that's one fish in particular in this drainage that it could affect. So what should somebody do if we're out recreating and come upon one of these rock dams? I think the first solution is recognizing that it's a dam and it needs to come out. So you can take it upon yourself to start dismantling these things, or you could contact a local FWP office and start asking questions about what to do. Well, in that case, I guess we better keep removing this one right here. Let's get back to it. 